Welcome back to the second video of Master IV Fluid course and today we move to the next question is what kind of IV fluid? And I'm going to split this on multiple videos to keep them short. Before we dive into this, I want you to understand very important principles, two principles. And the first one that our body osmolarity or osmolality uh, uh, for the human beings, whether it's osmolarity or osmolality, it doesn't really matter much. One of the few occasions that they are almost the same. And it's around 290. Of course, it goes from 270 to 320, around this. So if you have the osmolarity 300, it's close. You cannot say it's above that, or 310 or 320 or 270. So around this number 20 or 30 above or below, it's basically, you can say it's equal to the body osmolarity. Okay. The second thing, the higher the tonicity of a solution or any kind of IV fluid means less free water. So, I want to understand that all crystalloid solutions are made of water. The difference is the concentration of osmotically active agents in that water. So, I'm talking here about free water. So, the higher the tonicity, the less the free water, and the higher tendency for this kind of fluid to stay in extracellular space. Okay? And extracellular, as you know, we talk about intravascular and interstitial. Now, the opposite, the lower the tonicity, means the higher the free water in that solution, and the higher tendency to go intracellularly. Okay, why is that important? Because now, if you're looking for a solution that, you, let's say, you're trying to keep it in the intravascular space, you probably look at the higher tonicity solution. Well, if you want to give more of a free water, you look for the lower tonicity solution. Okay. So that's the, the first two basic principles I want you to really understand very well. The next thing is now, when we say maintenance, then we need to know what kind of maintenance, what we need to give that patient in order to know what kind of IV fluid, right? So maintenance that we said, you know, around 1500 cc of water. This is for maintenance. And this is in the urine, stool, breathing, sweat. And also you lose some milli equivalent of sodium and potassium. Okay. Also, when you think about maintenance, this patient, you want to give him some calories, some kilocalories. Okay. And the main reason here, we're not talking to give adequate nutrition, is to prevent catabolism. So, you need to give free water, you need to give sodium, you need to give potassium, and you need to give here the few calories in terms of sugar. So that maintain maintenance solution has to contain free water, sodium, potassium, and some sugar. Okay? Well, on the other hand, if we're going to talk about um, volume resuscitation, let me just put it here, sorry. Hopefully you will see it. Or let me open a new page. Uh, volume resuscitation so here we are talking about abnormal fluid losses and you need to give fluids to replace intravascular volume so no need for sugars or calories or anything you just need to give volume as soon as possible to the intravascular space 
to replace that. Now, we said the higher the tonicity, the higher tendency to stay in intravascular space. So that means solution that has solutions with less free water would be perfect for this indication. As I said, the higher the tonicity, the less free water, the higher the tendency to stay in the extracellular space, intravascular space, and interstitial space. The higher, the more water in the solution in the IV fluid. And when I say water here, pay attention, I'm talking about free water. Because all, as you will see in the next videos, all these solutions based on water. Now here we talk about free water. The more free in the solution, the less tonicity and the less tendency tendency to stay. I'm trying just to slowly so we get this principle in the intravascular space. So please you need to understand that very well. So you can guess that when you are trying to resuscitate patients, hypotonic solutions are not good. You're looking for isotonic solution will come to that. I'll stop here and we'll continue next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. So you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.